Hi, I'm still brewing my coffee, which is why I'm late about five minutes. And it's gonna fall. All right. So I wanted to start this Coffee Talk Tuesday, um, just every week, talk about different things um, in the market, about homes. I know I don't do as many real estate posts as I really should be doing. Um, so I thought, why not bring some coffee into the mix and um, just talk to you guys about different topics. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the first time home buyers and things that they need to consider, just a couple things, um, because I have been dealing with first time home buyers and so it's fresh on my mind right now. Um, so the first thing is um, money is key. And, um, you know, everywhere, everywhere look, we look, it's like HDTV, um, on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, you see all these beautiful homes that you just fall in love with, um, just by looking at them, but we really need to consider budget. And so, you know, you see the smartphone on um, a smart home on HGTV and, and it's like, is that really, really in your budget? Um, so hi, Jalpa. Um, so yeah, we have to consider budget, um, you know, find out what you can afford. Did you just buy a new car? Um, are you still paying off student loans? Um, you know, what other expenses do you have? Um, if it's just you or if it's you and your spouse, um, find out from a lender, go to a real estate agent if you don't have a lender and they can put you in touch with somebody. Um, go to your bank and talk to them about, hey, what can I afford? So that's first. The second thing is, is again, you know, making that list that of what's absolutely essential in your first home that you want. Um, you know, we all see, again, the same thing on HGTV, you see what you see and um, it's not always feasible in homes. So make a list of what do you need? You Like, if, do you have pets? Do you need to have a big backyard for pets? Um, do you have kids? How many bedrooms do you need? What's the at least minimum space? What's the maximum space? Um, so make a list and prioritize that list. Like, cause you're not gonna get obviously everything, um, you know, that you want on that list. We can always try, but there might not always be that everything. So make that list and prioritize it. What are your top five priorities, let's say, between you and um, your spouse? Or what is your top 10 things that you must have in a home? Um, so kind of make that list and then cosmetics are always things that you can do later. So I always tell buyers like, hey, you know, that countertop isn't ideal, but that's something that you can get switched out easily later on or that paint color on your wall. It's an ugly like green, but you know, you can change it out later. So um, just remember those couple things. Ooh, it's falling again. Um, and then pictures. So pictures don't always tell, I'm gonna hold this. Um, pictures don't always tell the whole story. So. Um, definitely try to get into the house. Um, you know, I remember looking at kids when I, or looking at kids, looking at homes when I was a kid. Um, and I remember very like distinctly that we had gone into this house that my parents had seen and they loved it, except that it was next to a railroad track and you can hear the trains like, honk, honk. yeah. Um, so pictures don't tell the whole story, the smell, the sounds, the neighborhood, um, definitely go and visit and get a good feel for um, what you're looking at. Um, and then that gut feeling. So if you walk into a house and you have that gut feeling that's, you know, this is home, you know, think about it. And maybe that's the one and maybe you don't need to look at any more homes after maybe, cause you know, your gut feeling isn't gonna be on your first one. It might not be on your second one. It might not be on your 10th one, but when you do have that feeling, um, just really hone into that feeling and um, if you have to put an offer in or, or look at your expense or finances again and kind of consider that gut feeling as part of your home buying decision. Um, and the final thing is I didn't really want to touch up on the market right now, but I'm going to because it is something that's happening, especially here in Chandler is um, at that price point is that first time home buyer they're looking at homes, they're seeing the home, and they're just taking, you know, 
three or four or five days too long to decide and there are multiple offers being put in. So if you have that feeling, you know that's the house, put an offer in, put in a strong offer, talk to your agent, um, talk to your lender um, and see what you can do. And so that's my tips of first time home buyers. I have a lot more, but I just wanted to keep it short. Um, thank you for everyone who joined me. I hope you all enjoy your cup of joe like I am about to enjoy right now. Um, I didn't want to blend while I was on video because that's just weird and makes a lot of noise I've found in the past. So, but yeah, I will see everybody next time, next week, Tuesday. Thanks.